finally game week. First start is upon you. Uh, how excited are you now that it's here and it's within sight? Yeah, I'm super excited for this game. I've been looking forward to it all summer, you know, being getting prepared for it. You know, I just, I'm super excited. How has your prep changed since uh, JT's injury? Uh, not much. You know, you know, life goes on, so I had to just keep keep preparing like I was before, like he would. We were still bonding out. Uh, the competition did make me better, so I just, you know, just same thing, same old. After JT went down, Coach Drell said that they still want to utilize you as a runner, but not doing what Sam Neuer was doing early last yeah. season with the hurdles and all that. How much have they kind of been in your head about just being smart out there when you're playing? Yeah, they all trying to relate to me, like, don't try to, obviously, don't try to hurdle guys, jump over dudes, uh, slide, get down and get out of bounds, hash number, sideline, stuff like that. Not trying to take too many hits like uh, like Sam t like Sam did last year. So, yeah, get down, get out of bounds, get what I can. As a competitor, how difficult is that to balance that out? Uh, it was a little hard because, uh, like, me in high school, I was a dude that was trying to run through somebody, but, like, this is not high school. So I was I was planning on getting down either, either anyways. I'm going against guys that weigh 230, 240. Can't take that many hits from big old dudes. Carl also said that he wants JT to take on kind of a coaching role. I know he's he's just going through the surgery and all that, but have you been able to talk with him much since his injury? Um, kind of use him as, as almost like a mentor, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He reached out reached out to me the other day, like we're gonna watch film together. You know, we're gonna pick each other's brain because uh, he's a smart guy. I can use use what he shows me, and he can teach me a lot of things you know, through through film and all that. How's it been just prepping for, for UNC? Obviously, it's a, it's a new coaching staff up there. They haven't yeah. played a game in a couple seasons. Does, does that make it difficult to try to um, anticipate what that defense is going to look like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you say, they have new staff, new everything. So uh, we don't know much about them. We just preparing for all situations and stuff like that. How beneficial was it for you to get all the first team reps as opposed to splitting them? Uh, it was very, very, very beneficial. I feel like I've learned more from getting all of them and not just half. So. Feel like I've done a pretty good job with it. In terms of learning the playbook, where where are you at there? You know, how comfortable do you feel with everything that's been installed? Yeah, I feel like I know the playbook, like the back of my hand. I know everything. I know what to do when I get certain looks and all that. So I feel like I know the play, know all the playbook pretty well. Did it change at all when JT went down and you became the starter? Uh, no, nah, not really. It's still pretty much the same. Maybe a few less QB runs, something like that. But no, nah, it's pretty much the same. Are you one who gets nervous before games? No, nah, no, nah, not really. I just try to stay as calm as possible. So when I go in the game, it's just another day. Just go out there and do me. Just what's your excitement level like being able to, you know, make the debut here at Folsom and have fans back here and just all the excitement surrounding that, that actual game atmosphere? Yeah, that's the biggest thing is the fans. I've never played against it. I never played in front of this many people, so I feel like it's gonna be fun hearing them cheer on and it's gonna be loud. Hope it's packed out. So I feel like that's gonna be very fun, very good experience. Thanks, Brandon. Thanks, Brandon. Yeah, thank you. Yep.